What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Lanye. 24 years free with another episode. Today, I want to talk about prison rape. So, prison rape is one of those sorts of folklore, mysterious, everybody think they know topics that happen in prison. Because you hear so much about it. You've seen it on the movies, the big big bubba pulls in a skinny dude in his cell, has his way with him, busts his booty hole out loud. This is the the legend that probably was, but has not existed in so long that it's almost non existent in reality. Prison rape does not happen. The way you imagine it happened. As a matter of fact, I would go so far as to say that no one has been raped in prison openly in 30 years. In the 80s, it probably was rampant. You know, you had these big buff dudes with the weights. You know, they... They buy them a, a, a new motherfucker who just got into prison for a pack of cigarettes and had a way with them. Like that probably was a thing, and that's where the the legend of prison rape came from. But just like Me Too on the streets, at some point, the prison got super serious about prison rape. As a matter of fact, there are more signs about if somebody looks at you wrong, if somebody makes a sexual joke at you. Whether it's inmate or staff or whoever, report them. If you use the word rape in prison, your ass is going to the hole. Let alone actually taking somebody's booty hole. If you even jokingly say, I'll rape you, you're probably going to have a DA referral. No one's getting raped like that. But that don't stop the legend from continuing. That don't stop people from wondering... You know, how it happens. Everybody heard the old statement, you know, when you get in the shower, don't drop the soap. If you get in the shower and drop the soap now, everybody in the shower is going to completely back away from you until you pick up your soap. Nobody's bending nobody over in the shower and taking it. Like the old legend had, you believe. But now here's the flip side of that, though. Just like they have these signs that's posted saying, if somebody uh, propositions you for rape, let us know. You know, we're a prosecutor. You have the transgender in the gay community, the LGBTQ, coming up strong. And now you have condom dispensers everywhere in prison. So why would you have condom dispensers everywhere in prison if it's such a, a a community that's so worried about prison rape? Well, the reason why is because everybody having sex in prison now want to have sex in prison. Not only are you not getting your booty hole taken, but you're probably offering your booty hole to somebody, and that's how it's getting. That's how the sex is happening. You're not. It's not being taken. You give it. So, the condom dispensers are a sign of the change in regards to what is real prison rape anymore. Now it's just consensual sex. I'm going to tell this story even though it's a slight difference on the topic at hand. So, in prison, if you're a lifer, you can have family visits. So, if I'm a heterosexual man, and I'm married, my wife can put in a marriage package, she can come visit me, they have uh, trailers where we go spend two nights in, consensual, you know, marital sex. At some point, California passed a law that said, gay people can be married, it was completely legal. So, you had a situation in prison where... A gay dude wanted to marry another gay dude in prison. They put the paperwork in, 
got married, and then tried to say we want to go on a family visit to the trailer like the heterosexual couples. Boy, was the administration trying to figure out how to get out of that one. They said, well, why y'all don't just go in the cell? There's the condom dispenser over there. They tried everything to try to prevent that from happening. Long story short, they made some accommodations that was not the trailer for the heterosexuals. And they had their sex but the point of all of that was that there is no rape in prison. Those days are so far gone that they're like the dinosaurs. Sure, there used to be times where people got their butt took. But those times are long gone. Not only people having sex in prison now are people who want to have sex. Just for the record, I've never been raped. Never wanted to have sex. I'm free now. Heterosexual to the bone. So, just want to clear that up. <laughs> but that was my subject for the day. There is no prison rape. So anyway, I just want to say, hey, if you like anything you're hearing, please subscribe. Tell someone. Hit me up. Give me topics to talk about. I got a lot of them. But I want to talk about what you want to hear. So subscribe, tell a friend, and until next time, this is my truth. I'm just telling it. No extras.